video, we're going to be looking at, again, Form ADV, the Uniform uh, Advisor, Financial Advisor form thing. Uh, however, in this video, we're going to be looking at specifically the activities of Jeffrey's LLC, which uh, apparently relates to the individual known as Jeffrey Epstein. And for those that are not familiar with that situation, the particular one, uh, the main elements that I'm aware of at this point are that Jeffrey Epstein was a financier who was a child groomer, basically, and leveraged a system of uh, underage sex slave parties, basically, to blackmail different uh, different people. And was done in partnership with a woman, so-called London socialite named Jelaine Maxwell, who had connections to Mossad. That is the official story, mm -hmm. anyway. And, uh, of course, they would rather you focus on only those two and not uh, the entire structure. Most uh, of the narrative cur today currently focuses on the Epstein client list. Not so much on Epstein partners. And so today we're going to look at the Epstein partners. A lot of these individuals are probably still at large and likely still engaging in the same operations that Jeff Jeffrey Epstein was uh, accused of. Now, we know that Jeffrey Epstein, as far as the official narrative goes, held, had offices in or an office in New York City, which was raided by the FBI, obviously, to cover up the operations. And, of course, also had a island off the shore or had a private island as well as residents in Florida. Now, as far as these documents go, there are certain patterns to notice across all of the filings that I've done this far and will do in the future. Certain elements will be evident. The first of those is the Charles Schwab accounting firm, which I find interestingly, the name Schwab is the same spelling as Klaus Schwab, or Schwab, with a V, but it's spelled with a W. Next, we have Deloitte and Touche, or would be French Delois and Touche, uh, of which they do, in fact, have presence in France, but who knows where they actually originated. Next one will be Carta, of which there's many different versions, Carta Securities, and of course there's different versions of the two accounting firms mentioned as well. There's usually different versions of all of these things. The next one is Iron Mountain. That is ubiquitous across these filings. After that is the State Street Bank and Trust out of Boston, but it, of course, has different elements across the globe. International Fund Services. Now, this is, doesn't pop us up as much as the other ones, but it is found on many of these filings. Comerica Bank, First Republic Bank, Ernst & Young, Morgan Stanley, SSNC, PricewaterhouseCooper, and Smarsh. And there's, of course, other patterns that will unfold. But to start with, we're going to go ahead and look at this Epstein-related uh, scheme that is across these business filings and the apparent organized operation of which Epstein was only a single component. So to begin with, we're going to look at Jeffrey's Finance and Jeffrey's Research Services. And then after that, we have X Square Capital. We have Sovereigns Capital and Vident. These are uh, they're five separate funds, essentially, of which Jeffrey's LLC the New York firm connected to Jeffrey Epstein, of course, is associated. Now, Jeffrey's Finance and Jeffrey's Research Services can have the same ad office address and likely Jeffrey's LLC, of which we find pop up among many of these filings, probably has the same. That is 520 Madison Avenue, 
Twelfth Floor, New York City. Now, in first looking at the business filing of Jeffrey's Finance, we have connected to it Apex Credit Partners, Apex Credit Holdings, Jeffrey's Credit Partners, and these are of course formed out of Delaware. Now this filing has 112 employees under it, Jeffrey's Finance, and with 16 billion 411 million across 42 accounts. These accounts are then held by Street Bank and Trust out of Boston. Now, the, I don't have an exhaustive list here. A lot of these banks and entities hold multiple of the secondary accounts. I'm simply listing the names as far as the connections go. Bank of New York Mellon Trust, the Massachusetts Mutual Life Insurance out of Hong Kong, Jeffries LLC out of Tel Aviv, Israel, Appleby Global Services, the Cayman Islands, Appleby Corp, Corporation Service out of Bermuda, Virtus Group, JCP Direct Lending, Deloitte or Del Deloitte and Touche or Delois and Touche, Alter Domus Fund, Jeffries Direct Lending, SSNC Globe OP out of Evansville, Indiana. Jeffrey's Direct Lending, Employee Fund, Deloitte, Audit, SA out of Paris, France, Cassette, Casseis, C-A-C-E-I-S, Bank out of Paris, France, Alter Domus Fund Services, France, Jeffrey's Finance Europe, SCSP Luxembourg, JFIN Europe, GP, SARL, Apex, Fund Rock, uh, LIS, L-I-S, Deloitte Audit SA Luxembourg, State Street Bank Luxembourg. And a lot of these, these funds have the addition of CLO. And that's something you'll find a lot a lot of the ADV filings. Next we have Deloitte and Tooch of 30 Rockefeller Plaza, 41st floor, New York City. Then we have Edmund Hess as an individual involved in this account specifically. Daniel Rapino. J. Finn, parent, Adam Klepek, Thomas Granville, Jeffries Financial Group, Massachusetts Mutual, Jason Kennedy, John Liguori, and David Wells. Now, of course, the important thing to notice here is that Jeffrey Epstein was considered a high-profile New York financier. Next, we have Jeffries Research Services, again, 520 Madison Avenue, New York City but also with office addresses in 101 California Street, San Francisco, California, 125 High Street, Suite 2501, Boston, Massachusetts, 1801 West End Avenue, Suite 420, Nashville, Tennessee, 1450 Brickell Avenue, Suite 1650 out of Miami, Florida, 155 North Wacker Drive, Suite 4200 Chicago, Illinois, Next is 3 Allen Court, or Center, 333 Clay Street, Suite 2400 out of Houston, Texas. Also on this account, we have the connection to Lucadia Asset Management. There are 248 employees on this specific account, but there's no account filing for funds or what asset vehicles are being filed, which is interesting. Next, we have Jeffries GmbH France, out of France, Germany, Netherlands, Italy, Poland, Spain, France, Portugal, and Sweden. Next, we have M Science out of Hong Kong. These are all connected to the singular account, by the way. Jeffries Japan, Tokyo branch, Osaka. Jeffries Hong Kong, Jeffries India, private. Jeffries Singapore. Jeffries International out of Australia, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. Then the individuals associated with this account are Michael Eastwood, Sonia Levovitz, Alana Crank, Jeffrey Brooks, Lori Scoran, and Marilyn Aquino. Now, one of the important things to notice is that in all of these, Jeffrey is spelled J E F F E R I E S versus J E F F E R I. Y, as is usually spelled for Jeffrey Epstein, and Jeffrey Brooks down here is spelled E-Y. 
However, there's a lot of elements here in this context that add up to the Jeffrey Epstein story with the connections to Israel, New York City, and Florida, among other places. Now, after this, we have X Square Capital. And this is out of Guayanabo, Puerto Rico, or Guanabo, Puerto Rico. Guanabo, yeah, it would be Guanabo. Connected to this account in Oriental Finance Securities, Popular Securities, SSNC Technology. It has seven employees, 423 million across 220 accounts. And also connected to this fund is Jeffrey's LLC out of New York City. Charles Schwab and Company out of San Francisco, J.P. Morgan Securities, U.S. Bank N.A. San Francisco, State Street Corporation out of Boston, and the individuals, of course, Ignacio Canto. There's uh, F.B. Private Equity Fund, LLC, First Bank out of Puerto Rico, or First Bank Private Equity Fund, LLC out of Puerto Rico, uh, Crow LLP, out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, X2 Alternative Dividend Alpha Fund, Driven PSE San Juan, Puerto Rico, SSNC Alps, Denver, Colorado, X2 Opportunities Debt Fund, Plusios Management, Kevin, or Kevin, Grant Thornton, LLP, and then we also have Gabriel Medina, Christina Perez, Franceschini, uh, as individuals associated with this particular fund. And then we'll go ahead and move on to Sovereign's Capital is another fund. Now this is out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, apparently, and also has office in Sanyan City, Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, Fairview Investments out of Raleigh, North Carolina. It, of course, is a fund is formed in Delaware, as most of these are. 35 employees, 867 million across 25 accounts. Also is connected to it is Pershing out of New Jersey, SNCF Evergreen GP Sovereign's Kingdom SPV. And obviously Evergreen is known to be associated with not just child trafficking, but also apparently the individual known as Hillary Clinton. Now SCRE2 is another name associated with this account. Then we have Callus Capital Fund 1, Movement Asset Management, Vidant Asset Management, Ronald Blue Trust, Sovereign's GP2, SCAF GP1, Sovereign's GP LMM2, Sovereign's GP, Sovereign's GP Holding, Sovereign GP3, Leap Insurance doing business as movement insurance, CG Investment Partners, Sovereign GP Venture 4, SC Omega AI, and of course there's a lot more uh, with, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, all that. Movement Bank uh, SV GP2 out of the Cayman Islands, and then of course you have Price Waterhouse Coopers out of the Cayman Islands, Pacific Western Bank North Carolina, Apex Fund Services Canada Toronto, Grassy and Company out of New York City, SC Restore Pro Sidecar out of Delaware, Sovereigns Bright Light Sidecar First Republic Bank Jeffries LLC out of New York City. SRS Aquium 950 Denver, Colorado. TSXS, TSX Trust Toronto, Cal, uh, Toronto, Canada. Wilmington Trust out of Delaware. Beach Hill Securities out of New York. Sovereign's Capital Real Estate. Sovereign's Cloud Factory. Sovereign ENS. Sovereign's Environmental. Sovereign's Fringe. Sovereign Kingdom ALP. Carta Incorporated out of San Francisco, California. Sovereigns Vermeer, LLC. 125 Fund, all formed out of Delaware, yeah. mostly. Then Michael, Michelle Hoffman is the chief financial officer. Finally, we have Vidant out of Georgia and also Vancouver, British Columbia. Two, 21 employees. 8 billion among 938 accounts of one of those is Blue Trust, Sovereign's Capital, New Age Alpha Master, and Vidant Capital Holdings. 
So those are the one of many elements, I'm sure, that can be found connecting to Jeffrey Epstein. And I'm sure there's others that would connect to the other individual, Delaine Maxwell. But as you can see, this is a much more extensive operation. Many individuals involved and stay tuned for the next video in which I will be looking at other elements in these Form ADV filings, including Blackstone, Blackrock, Vanguard, you know, the usual ones that you would know about, some less known ones like Tradewinds and Mercer, and then also uh, one called uh, Rockbridge Capital. They are, are particularly, uh, they're an element that's particularly associated with Ohio. And also some other international ones, including those associated with Mexican banks and South America. Anyway, thank you.